that, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. It feels good when you get those type of games, when you play in those type of games. When you start forcing all those turnovers, does it just feel like they start piling up? They do. I mean, you just, sometimes you get in a groove and you feel like every call you make is going to work. So and it was just that feeling, you know, so it was a good job by the guys. You know, just was, to... was, this offense is a lot different than the one you're facing mm -hmm. Sunday. So how, how do you explain, uh, how, how can you have an on court game against Joe Burrow in that game? Yeah, I mean, it's just when you play these guys, they're so explosive um, on offense. Um, and they have players all over the field. Um, I think they won the last four, beat Kansas City what, three times in a row. Probably nobody's done that. But they're playing at a really high level. So for us, it's, you know, our playmakers have to show up. And, you know, defensively, you just want to have a simple plan where the guys can play fast. Joe, you guys are hockey on that, on that play, how, how big of a loss that is. And I mean, not just from a standpoint of he kind of had transitioned into that Mike role for you guys, but he seems like he's like just about everyone's favorite, one of their favorite guys on the team. Yeah, everybody loves, loves talk. Um, he loves the game, great competitor, uh, leadership qualities. And, you know, him going down, that hurt everybody. Um, I talked to him this morning when I saw him. And I know he'll bounce back. Uh, but yeah, we lost a big part of our defense there. But at the same time, you know, it's an opportunity for other guys to step up. I, mean, I know you've talked about not like having backups. Everyone's just a starter and waiting. But I mean, yeah. that position has kind of turned into a revolving door yeah. this well, year. How difficult that's been to kind of have to manage. Yeah, it's just one of those things, you know. I mean, this year, just at that position, you know, we had Awok, then Jacob, then Sione go down. Um, but again, we have young guys. Uh, somebody's going to have to step up. Um, you know, we got Debo, so, you know, he'll play more of a role. Uh, Jordan Kunastic, if I'm saying it right, will play more of a role. Um, but, yeah, everybody's got to step up to try to fulfill that role. Well, in previous games when you've played them, they've been fairly one-dimensional, but they haven't been in these four games. They're, they're running the ball yeah. now. And that's a big position, that, that boy, that middle linebacker position. So uh, who will start? Did you say Deion Jones? Yeah. It, it'll be based on what we put out there. Uh, we'll move guys around in different packages. We'll rotate guys. But Deion Jones, Jordan Kunastic, um, those guys will be out there at the mic position. What about this new guy, Raglan? Yeah, we have to see. He has to learn the system. Um, he didn't really play in this type of system, so it's really just learning the techniques. So we'll see where he's at. But a uh, very smart player. You know, he's picking it up pretty fast. And what do you think about the way they're running the ball the last couple games? Yeah, I think the game after ours, Joe Mixon had five touchdowns, four rushing. So, you know, but that's the thing. We have to prepare for different things based on what we see on tape. And just based on our run defense this year, we, we go into every game, think we're going to get run. Um, so we have to have a plan for it. We do, uh, as well as some other things they, they like to do offensively. What, are you, what have you guys done the last couple of games to improve that run, you know, that, that run defense? Is it just? Doing the fundamentals right? Yes. For me, um, game plan wise, just always looking at it. Not that we can't do things, but based on the team we're playing, what do we need to win? What are the change ups? And trying to keep keep it to a minimum. So that way during practice we can fit multiple runs in those coverages and the guys feel comfortable and they can play fast. So it's a little bit of that and guys just really just, just doing their job. So you guys are four and all versus Burrow. What do you think you guys have done that Kansas City and other teams haven't been able to do? I mean, honestly, and I, I've said it to you guys before, this, this league is a matchup league. And I feel like we have good matchups against those guys. And I feel along the way we've got some breaks as part of it. You know, the ball's bounced our way. Uh, the last game, the two takeaways we had, just freak things, a tip ball, you know, and then him moving up in the pocket and us, you know, getting the ball out. Um, but for us, we're going to have to play at our very best to have a chance to win against these guys. And again, they're playing really well right now. You know, when you talk about their running game, does it look like more of a one-two punch now with P. Ryan getting as much run as he's gotten the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I definitely think we're going to see both of those backs. Uh, P. Ryan, man, he is, he's a load. I mean, he gets downhill, um, very physical, breaking tackles, stiff arming people. But I think we'll see a combination of both backs for sure. When, when uh, Burrow was asked, what did the Browns do different? His answer was Miles Garrett. 
It's good. Has he, <laughs> has he taken over that, that particular matchup? He's won that matchup every game. Yeah, I think in the last, I'm not sure, but I heard somebody say in the last four games, Miles had six sacks, 21 pressures, you know, but when Miles gets rolling and we can create some opportunities for him, um, you know, he's hard to deal with. So we, you know, and him saying that and just every week to week, we always think of what teams will do to try to block Miles. Like we're going to see different protection schemes. We're going to see more chip. So we try to prepare for those things in case it happens. That's were just the Cincinnati games? Somebody were saying something like that. It, it could be totally wrong, but I just heard somebody say that. But I know he's he's played well in the last couple of games against them. I do what they do, I mean, and they do it well. But, uh, you know, teams this year have, have done some things to you guys that have that you guys necessarily haven't handled well. At this point in the season, can can they try to incorporate to any great extent, those kinds of things, the motions and all that stuff, or they just you think they're just going to do what they do? They have all that stuff, you know what I mean? So it just depends on how much they want to do it. Um, and that's where part of the game for them and for us is making adjustments. But uh, all the, the, the jet motions, um, the different type of runs, they have it. It's just whatever their game plan is going to be. So I definitely know we're going to have to adjust with what we're calling. Um, especially early in the game. So you moved Miles around last week? We, we tr like yeah. Over center a little bit? Yeah. Him in. We try to move him around a little bit, but it's it's week to week because we want to try to create the matchups that we feel are favorable for him um, to win one-on-ones, but also put other guys in position. Um, so we had a few things for him uh, last week. He really didn't get to the quarterback that much, but it's still pressure. The quarterback felt pressure. Does he resist that? What's that? Does Miles resist getting moved around or not? No. No. Sure, you kind of leave it up to him sometimes. No, it's a little bit of both. I mean, he understands we want to move him around, and he understands week to week, you know, where our best matchups are against our opponents. Um, so, no, he, he's not been resistant to that. And, and uh, you've uh, defended the, all the quarterbacks in the league. Where does Burrow rank in your opinion? Very high. Very high. He is. When you watch him play, he is very calm. It's like nothing gets to him. Um, he's very smart. He goes through his progressions. And I think for him, you can see his growth. This is my time being here. He's not forcing the ball. You know, if he goes through his progression, if it's not there, um, you see him get rid of the ball and throw the check down. Um, he's accurate. And if you do everything right, then he's going to run. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. He does it all, but I think he's playing at a high level. You've had, you've had a lot of success getting pressure on Joe. I think something like 17 sacks in four games against him. Um, what is it? Have you noticed them do anything to try to adjust to it, or are they just? And what have you? What, what do you kind of credit that success to? I mean, really, I credit the success to the players. And I, again, it's it's a matchup game, and when you can create matchups where you feel you have a chance to win. And I think that's happened at times against them, but at times it's been hard. I think back to the first year, um, I mean, I threw the, threw the ball like 60 times <laughs> and we couldn't couldn't touch the guy. But I don't I don't know um, ex why we're having that type of success against them, but I, I would just say it all goes back to the players. Joe, they use so much three wide. Um, and then when they run out of that, like what, I guess, has to be on point when teams are running at you out of the three wides as opposed to going, you know, with two tight ends. You just have to be gap sound. You know, you just can't just say we're going to go double a receiver and not be able to fit the run game. And that's where they create problems because they're running the ball and throwing it. You know, out of 11 personnel. And you've seen it show up a little bit more, again, with mixing after our game. So there's going to be times where, you know, we're going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And if they choose to throw, then we're going to have to win, win some of those battles. How are they to defend with Jamar in this game as opposed to not in last game? A lot harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? I give credit to all their players. I think, you know, Boyd and T. Higgins stepped up. Um, you know, they, they do some unique things to try to create one-on-ones with their receivers. But now when you get um, Chase back, now it's a whole different ball game. Because you can't, you can't take care of all of them all the time. You know, so we just have to have guys who are going to have to win. You know, when they're matched up one-on-one. -on -one. Tony having the game he did in Houston and then Sione going out, 
Um, could he get a bigger role? Could he play some in the nickel? Yeah, everybody's going to have to step up. Just not him, but, you know, when you lose a player of that caliber, you know, the guys in waiting, the young guys, they have to step up. And for us, it's going to be different packages, you know, whether we're in base and sub, uh, in terms of which guy gets more reps. Joe, turnovers is such a big thing. Do you feel like, do you believe they come in bunches? And when you got half your season the last yeah. year, that preaching, you know, maybe, you know, that can turn to what yeah. gates ultimately? Yeah, I have to believe that because we need more. You know, you see what happens when we get the, the takeaways. Um, for whatever reason, they weren't coming our way early in the season. So hopefully what we did, you know, really the last couple of weeks is a, is a trend and continues. So, like Alpha Dog and the mm -hmm. Bone Collector stuff, like has it been kind of maddening in this, in this early part of the season that it wasn't translating? Yes, it, yes, definitely. And we work on it in practice. We talk about it, I show practice clips, game clips, but it just comes down to creating those opportunities and when you get those opportunities cashing in. Joe, I know it's a divisional game and you guys have all the numbers on their tendency already, but you got a guy um, on your coaching staff and, and Alex that, that knows that staff pretty well. How, if at all, can his familiarity with them help you guys this week? Not, not, uh, not really, and I think I got asked that question last time. Um, you know, there's like very simple questions that I've asked them in the past. Um, but when it comes to game planning, it's just how we want to game plan our scheme to what they're doing. I really don't want to say that. <laughs> Put that out there. But just, just common sense type of things. But nothing, you know, nothing in great detail. You know what I mean? He hasn't been there in a while. And again, we're going to do what we do. You guys, uh, to have a young guy like Martin Emerson uh, just playing so well when you're going up against a team like this with so many good receivers. It's big. It's a big part of what we do. Um, it gives you comfort sometimes when you want to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, you know, we've moved guys around trying to create matchup, so we'll continue to do that. But, you know, as a rookie, they're going after him, but he, he's making some plays. So it's, it's been good for us so far this year.